Hello Gemini, welcome to Thomas's Tower Reading with myself. Thomas Janak, please like, subscribe and share widely. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, first things first, um, I had a tooth break off a while ago and now I have a denture. And um, so I'm, <laughs> I'm relearning to speak properly, if that makes sense. So um, uh, if you hear me sort of having a lisp all of a sudden, um, on top of my of, of my uh, um, somewhat happy accent, <laughs> um, it's just the way it is. I have to get used to the denture. You have to get used to to hearing me speak. If you um, have big problems, there's always a subtitles button somewhere. Okay. Anyway, what we do here, my dear Gemini's, is we're looking at your um, entire months, but we're breaking the months up in sections so it is easier to understand. And for me also easier to read. So what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the month of August 2022 for your very sign of Gemini. Before we then go into your emotional core, see what needs to happen, see what needs to go, or maybe love is coming in. Um, so that's going to be your emotional core. Before we then finally move on to um, opportunities. And opportunities for the most part are about what sustains you financially. Okay? When you're ready, here we go. This is your overall energy for the month of August 2022. You are, look, look, you are watching Thomas's Tower reading and we are looking at the sign of Gemini. Okay. This is a good month when it comes to um, the overall energy because you have abundance coming in. So whatever you are, you were manifesting is happening. Um, changes for the better are in are in the air. Downside is there's still a few obstacles that you need to overcome to actually fully reap the benefits of your your manifestations. And all the guides are saying is, remember that you can and will overcome your obstacles. Here's how this works. New things could come in, and then you bloody block them, right? By thinking, oh. This can't be for me, I can't afford this, 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 blah, blah. Whatever you say that you can't do, that's how you manifest. Remember, words are really powerful. You say what you want, right? You say what your heart's desires are, um, that's how you manifest. If you then say out loud or inside yourself that you have doubts, then that's what you manifest too. Doubts do close doors, right? So be, be trusting, if that makes sense, right? But also understand you're Gemini, you're the sign of the twin. And energetically speaking, Gemini's, Gemini is a sign that sometimes feels that inner voice that tells you, yeah, you can do that, it's a bit missing. Um, so sometimes the, the acknowledgement that you're actually doing good work has to come from the outside, right? So it can make you a bit insecure at times. And all the guides are saying is, you're bloody awesome, right? You don't have to worry about stuff. Abundance is coming in because that's what you asked for. But the obstacles that are in your way are there for a reason. They're here for you to learn to overcome them, to learn to change how you speak and change how you manifest. Um, and you will overcome them, okay? Quite simple, actually. Um, and then it isn't. <laughs> so, Gemini, let's have a look at your um, emotional core. See what's coming in with regards to healing or love. And you have wisdom. They're quite beautiful cards. I'm drawn, I was drawn this morning to using Denise Lin's um, uh, cards. I uh, can't remember what the deck is called now. Speaking of decks, um, I, I mentioned this um, last month. Um, or, or the months before, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, a friend of mine and myself, we are working on a card deck. And um, the, um, the card deck is now um, sort of finished, so we know how the, what the cards look like. And now a Kickstarter uh, campaign will happen soon. If you want to see how the cards look and find out a bit more, you can do so by just watching the, the video until the very end, because when the reading is done here, um, there will be about a minute um, clip 
um, about the card decks and how this all works. Okay? So please, please, please watch until the very end. And uh, now, there's no further ado. Remember, you have, uh, I, I explained to you your emotional core. You have wisdom. All the guides are saying, whatever is happening in your life, you are already aware. Don't act surprised um, when, when, when you miss things because you know exactly what's going on. You also know if there are blockages. You know if there are things that you carry with you that no longer serve you. And you know whether or not it is difficult to shift it. The point is, you do know what is needed from you in the month of August to deal with your emotional balance, uh, baggages and anything to do with future fulfillment is to meet it head on and see to, uh, if you can release as much as, as, as can be released to get to a more um, stable version of yourself. Okay, Gemini, that was that. And now we're looking at opportunities as to present themselves to you in the month of August 2022 for your very sign. Opportunities, you have the voyage of the heart. The voyage of the heart literally tells you that while August by default is not the best month to, to, to manifest opportunities because a lot of people are sort of in holly, holiday mode <laughs> and a lot of schools are breaking up. So there's a bit of, um, of divided energy in August, which makes it always a bit difficult to, to fully manifest um, an awful lot. But your opportunities are all about understanding what your heart desires is what you should manifest. Don't take the job just because it pays better, right? Don't be persuaded by other people either to do stuff that you feel, oh, I'm not sure if you're not sure, then trust that. Really, really important. You have the voyage of the heart, which sort of means, you know, love is flowing through you. Things will come to you that you deserve. But when you override it by doing stuff that is maybe financially more, more uh, lucrative, but doesn't really allow yourself to feel fulfilled, that's on you. Okay? So, that's all we got. Like I said, please like, subscribe and share widely. Really, really appreciate it. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. And I see you all next month. Bye-bye.